right guys, what is going on? Um, so this is gonna be a real uh, quick impromptu video. When I passed out of basic training, I was only 17, um, and I was very naive to cue the, the like the crow bag photos now, here and here. Um, I got to my first unit and everything was going great for some, some time. And then a guy got posted in, he was a corporal. Um, I'm not gonna release his name or what the unit was called or anything, because I don't want to bring shit up from the past. So. Um, Basically, um, we got on really well at, at the start, and then we fell out over something pathetic or, or whatever, and he turned into the biggest fucking arsehole uh, that's ever existed on this planet, in, in my eyes, and he pretty much ruined my life at the time. Now, I'm talking in third person in a little bit, because... Um, it's going to be hard to explain. So future me is a lot stronger, a lot more independent, a lot more self-aware and more uh, headstrong than 17-year-old me is. Like We're talking almost 10 years ago now. Um, and and this guy basically, because uh, we fell out over something and it was personal and he was in a position where he could take advantage of that. And um, he, he did. He, he fully took advantage of the situation. And uh, this is what happened. So um, it first started off by um, basically the reason we fell out is that he put me down for a duty and I couldn't do the duty uh, because my nan was actually really ill uh, and she was she was about to pass away and stuff. So I wanted to go home uh, and I explained that and said, yeah, that's fine. Um, you know, that, that was very nice of him and stuff. And uh, I traveled um, on the Friday night. <clears throat> which is where my duty was going to be. And um, it took me a good, obviously, a couple of hours. And I didn't want to drive home, so I took the train home. And for some reason, he came round the block, obviously, where I was living at the time, uh, to see if I was still there. And my car was obviously still in the car park. And he rang me the, the next morning, like, where are you? And I'm like, uh, oh, I'm at home. And he's like, oh. Oh, yeah, sort of thing. And I was like, yeah, I didn't think anything of it. And I got into work on Monday and I had a, a week's long uh, uh, ROPS, which is like a restriction of privileges, if, if I'm right. And you have to like report to the guard room like every hour in your best dressed uniform and you get inspected up and down. And um, I was like, why the fuck am I getting this? And he's like, oh, you're a fucking lying cunt. You've got no morals, blah, blah, blah. Screaming in my face and like kicking off and... Um, and I, you, you wouldn't even let me explain. So that's that's where it all started. And then he was like, uh, every time something was going wrong or whatever, he'd put me on a, on a job or a duty. Fair enough, I could take that. And then he was like, uh, putting me on duty almost every night on the weekends. And this is the guy that wrote the, the rotor. Um, and then he was putting me on uh, extra duties for this, that, and the other little tiny things that no one else would be. Like, it would be like three o'clock in the afternoon and my beard grows really quick, um, my facial hair. And he'd be like, oh, you haven't shaved today, duty, come see me. And then I have to sign on that guy. Um, and then like we was going on like courses and stuff and he'd be like, you're gonna fail. He was like one of the directing staff. Um, he was he was honestly in a position where he could just make my life hell. Um, and it got to that point where like, uh, I didn't have any social life. And then he started turning other people against me. And like, uh, I'd be on like PT or something, I'd be running around and someone would come up to me and be like, oh, you never know what, never guess what they're gonna do to you. Oh, the that he said this, he said that, and, and like telling people things that I had done, which I hadn't done, just to turn them against me. Um, and it was just obviously like ruining my fucking life. Um, and it was at that point where it was like almost getting too much. It made me hate the army. I wanted to go AWOL. Um, obviously the, the original video I did in this was much more thorough, but I'm just sort of recapping just to get it back out there. Um, and it was it was at the point where like, I just didn't want to be there anymore. I didn't. I was feeling like almost suicidal and depressed. Um, I had no friends. I was always on duty. I never had any personal time. And like, fair enough. He put other people in, like on duty in the week, and then it'd always be me on the weekend, Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night. Um, and it was just um, a, cl a clear cut case of bullying, and it 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 shouldn't exist. And unfortunately, it doesn't it doesn't exist in every unit, and it, it always gets trapped differently. Um, but unfortunately, yeah, I was, I was getting bullied by this guy and it got to a point where I was like, I was like, enough is enough. I broke down in tears in front of my sergeant, um, who was screaming and having a go at me for something that this other guy had said that I had done. And I was like, I haven't, I haven't done it. I, I, and I just snapped. Um, 
and and that was sort of the turning point. Uh, and uh, the week after, a, a guy who's now a very close friend of mine came in, who was in a position of power to to stop him, uh, and he could see straight away what was going on. Um, so like I, I I threatened him like this one time. I fucking stood up for myself, and I was like, "Look, I'm going to report you to the chain of command. I'm going to put a service complaint against you. Um, this is going too far." And uh, he was like, "Prove it." And I was like, "What do you mean, fucking prove it?" And he was like, uh, "Every time you've had an ag guy." or like a sanction or a warning order. Um, it's always been in somebody else's name. It's never been him that's actually signed it off. Like I would sign my bit and then he'd get someone else to sign it off. So all the paperwork wasn't there. And he knew exactly what he was doing. He was abusing his power. I think he had just come from a training regiment as well. And he had this uh, mentality that just just that he was the best thing since sliced bread and he was going to fuck everybody else over. And he was, he was top dog. And it was just... Uh, a horrible, horrible environment to be in, a horrible place to work, and um, future me uh, would definitely go back and kick the fuck out of him. Um, he's not a big guy, he's not a strong guy, but all I saw was stripes, and um, yeah, uh, and it shouldn't exist. And there's been far worse cases, there's been guys that have bullied themselves to death, guys that have been bullied and, and run away, um, and then when they come back, they get punished for running, running away. Uh, the modern army now is getting uh, a little bit softer and cushy around the edges, which is, I guess, a good thing uh, in some ways, but some sometimes there is the need for that discipline, but the, the bullying process in the army is very different. Some people class the initiation ceremonies that you'd have when you go to units as bullying. Uh, like I didn't mind drinking, drinking piss out of a pint glass um, with pubes in it because once you've done that, you're one of the guys, and it's, there's no better feeling than finally... I guess fitting in and being part of the part of the crowd. So, um, yeah. So that was my sort of experience of bullying in the army, and it does exist. And uh, often people are too scared because it's a person in power to say anything. And I think there should be a better system for reporting bullying anom- anon- anonymously. Uh, and yeah, that's where I stand on it. Um, it. That was my experience, and that's my opinion. Uh, it might not be the the opinion of other people, but you know, share your opinion down below. Obviously, this is a very quick, unedited video. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching, guys. Um, yeah, smash the subscribe button, hit a like. Make sure you, if you've got any experience with bullying in the army, smash it down below. I really appreciate it, and uh, see you guys. See you guys later.